If I suddenly cut out, I'm waiting for a very important phone call. Today should be the last day of me going to Warren for the build. I don't think I'm gonna get there today. What happened today was a truck dropped a load of concrete and rocks on the Mass Pike. And lucky me, got a blowout on one of those big clumps of rocks. And here I am on the Westboro Plaza ramp. I limped off the road. Luckily, the tread is still underneath the wheel, so I didn't wreck the wheel. Tires toast. And do I have a spare? No. Figuring out where to put a spare was one of the things on the list for this rebuild. Hopefully, I'm going to hear soon from somebody with a tire. Maximalist mini bars with Mary and Captain. I thought to myself as I got in the bus this morning, too bad I didn't hook up that Land Moto yet because that I can shoot for 18 hours. I could just put that on the dash and shoot constantly. If I had, you'd be able to see exactly what gave me my flat tire. But instead, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I called a bunch of mobile tire service kind of places and um, the first guy blew me off. He basically said, well, I'm busy right now, but um, I'll call you around one o'clock. It's 10.30 right now, so yeah. I called some other guy who said he was gonna call me back in five minutes. And I should have known when he didn't call me back for 20 minutes, it was probably not gonna work out. But that's when I found Sullivan, Sullivan Tire to the rescue. And I wish I had known that they did roadside. I would have called them in the first place. I think it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Let's just say that, I don't know for sure, but I think the fee is not gonna be low. And they are coming in an hour. So, so that gives us an hour to chat. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple things that I think you should do that I didn't do. Um, I'm gonna tell you all the ways in which I'm a terrible example and the things that you should do to not be like me. I don't have a spare. If you're driving a dually, you don't need to have a spare because your extra tire is your spare. Even if you have a blowout in the front, you can take one of your rear tires and move it to the front and you'll still be okay. Duallys are great uh, for that. Duallys have disadvantages too. I'm gonna to do a video all about dual rear wheel versus single rear wheel, which is what I have. And this is one of the disadvantages of single rear wheel. If you are single rear wheel like I am, keep a spare. AAA, Good Sam, CoachNet, Safe Ride, all of them are better than nothing. All of them have their quirks. The only thing to remember though, is that just because you have roadside assistance doesn't mean your tires are covered. Almost everyone has an extra charge for tire coverage. Sign up for their tire service. Pay for it. It's worth it. Tire maintenance. Tire maintenance. Hey, maintain your tires. Tire maintenance. Make sure your tires are in good shape. Get new ones before they're in bad shape. I didn't do that because I was cheating. I was trying to finish the build and then deal with everything else because there are only so many hours in the day and there are only so many dollars in the bank. So that's what I was trying to do. It bit me in the ass, clearly. That was my Sullivan Tire guy calling, so maybe I don't have an hour to wait. Maybe he's coming right up. Uh, this guy in this big Hannaford truck is pulling in in front of me, almost ripping off my mirrors, but I'm gonna stay calm. Uh, he's gonna back up now. Let's see how close he gets to hitting me. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna keep talking to you and not thinking about the fact that there's a giant truck backing his ass right into me right now. What else? Form some sort of a company. I know that sounds crazy, but I can't tell you how often having an LLC has helped me on the road. And there are a lot of places where you can get very easy service at the side of a road from that won't do business with an individual. So if you have a company name that they can put on their billing and open an account for, they will come and help you with whatever you need to be helped with. They're gonna be a little leery of Joe Blow with the crazy looking van, but Joe Blow Incorporated with the crazy looking van, they're probably gonna work on. The vehicle doesn't matter so much if it's a company. If you do YouTube, that's a business. If you don't do YouTube, you can still form a business. It doesn't really matter if you're actually doing business. It matters that you have a business entity. If you see rocks that fell off a truck on a freeway, go around them. Have a sense of humor about things because it's, this isn't funny. I'm not laughing up a storm out here, but if I couldn't look around me and just joke about it, it would be grim. 
here's a tip for you. If you do freak out, recognize that it's a temporary condition, have your freak out, and then say, okay, now what do I do? And get back on track. Ain't nobody going to come and chase you down the tracks and put you back on track. Unless you happen to be married to somebody who will do that for you. Great. I'm not married to anybody unless you count the captain. And he flips out way more than I do. This world with broken toes From my missteps and told your souls I learned my way breaking every bone Now I see all these aches and make you grow And every fall has a rise Every burn has a flame From foolish to wise We all bruise the same When Bill pulled up, he told me that my other tire was going to go and that he only brought one tire, so that I was going to have to come over to Sullivan to get the other one. So all I'm trying to do now is find Sullivan Tire and my GPS is out. I can't get, don't have any GPS and the guys at the tire shop can't seem to agree on which direction I'm supposed to go. So I've been turned around three times now. Now they told me to just sit tight at this convenience store and someone from there is going to come find me so I can follow them there. This is the kind of thing that I get upset about. Because I can feel that there's something wrong and I hope it's just a tire. But I also, if I, even if it is a tire, I feel like I'm not going to make it there. And I'm trying not to be emotional about it because angry is one thing, but crying on camera, it's just, you know, it's not like someone died or anything. Snap out of it. <laughs> A guy showed up from Sullivan's and I'm following him now. <laughs> okay, maybe he's taking some crazy route that only the locals know, but I would never in a million years have found this place, judging from how many twists and turns there are in this route. It's not exactly a straight line. The reason I'm so nervous driving is that the bus is, is it's zigzagging. It's pulling to both sides. You know how typically when you need an alignment, the vehicle's gonna pull to one side or the other? Well, this is pulling in both directions. It pulls to the right, I correct by turning the wheel to keep it straight, and then all of a sudden it pulls to the left, and I have to correct the other way, and it just keeps going like that. You know, I haven't experienced that really ever. It could be an alignment thing, but usually that's like one side, you know? Maybe, maybe it's, I don't know, toe in or toe out. I don't really know what those terms mean. Or maybe the brand new steering box got hit by a rock. Maybe some linkage got broken. I don't know, I don't know. That's the problem. There's too many things I don't know lately. Hopefully they're gonna sort me out at Sullivan's and whatever work needs to be done. Hopefully they can do it. Oh great, we're finally here. That was a crazy drive and I would never have found this place. Honestly, I really never would have. Right here, this is some body damage from, it's actually from the tire blowing. That's, that's pretty strong. And this is like five inches from the fuel tank. I don't know what would have happened if it had hit the tank. Putting on another rear tire. I guess the front tires look okay. Bill, the guy who came out, um, took a look under there and he said I need a tie right end. So I'll have to tell Mike or George he said that. I just dropped Max off at the garage again. That drive on the pike, that was one scary drive coming back. I'm, uh, I mean, the bus was swerving back and forth. I never lost control, but it kept feeling like I was about to. While I was over there, I had this conversation with George the mechanic the other mechanic who's not Mike and he was saying maybe you need to start thinking about how much you're putting into a 30 year old vehicle and, I, and that makes sense to say if you're talking about a re regular vehicle but this is this is max and yeah the age thing it means that the parts are going to start failing because many of them most of them are original 
the time means they're 30 years old. Nothing lasts forever. So yeah, they're going to start failing. But what do I do? I mean, I don't want a van or something else. I'd want another bus. And then it's just a whole new crapshoot, a different old vehicle, you know, because for building a schoolie is generally not to get newer than 2007, which is still, actually it's 16 years newer than max. But I mean, any bus might have the same problem. So you could be just swapping one thing for another. And you know what? What happened today? That was not Max's fault. That could have happened to anyone. In fact, it did happen to a whole bunch of people who was on the news. I'm lucky that I got through when I did because later it shows people stalling out right in lanes, tires blowing in traffic, two big rigs crashed on the side of the road. It, a total mess. I'm lucky I got out of there as easy as I did. So... I guess I'm going to find out soon enough what's going on. But for now, I'm going to put on my tunnel vision glasses and keep going. Sometimes denial is your friend. As long as you know you're in denial. But then it's not actually denial. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's another thing I don't know. Well, that's for you. It's an oldie but goodie. Happy Easter, and uh, see you soon.